the card is based on the Turing architecture, but is not capable of providing the ray tracing feature. Anyways, ray tracing requires a much more powerful GPU than the 1650 Super CPU. The only component that matters the most in gaming after the GPU is the CPU, and if you choose a bad one, then forget about a smooth gaming experience. So, here I am bringing you the list of top CPUs for the GTX 1650 Super Graphics card. If you are looking for an optimal match, then this video will help you find the most suitable processor for GTX 1650 Super. I researched a number of CPUs and filtered out some of the best CPUs for GTX 1650 Super. I leave the links to the discussed CPUs in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with AMD Ryzen 3 3200G. The AMD Ryzen 3 3200G comes at an affordable price and offers some of the best features as well as performances. AMD Ryzen 3 3200 was launched to replace the 2200G as the new third generation was already out. For those who don't know about it, it can be described as the most powerful APU for under $100. The APU features both the GPU and CPU with enough power that it can help you play games without a graphics card. It features four cores and four threads, which in my opinion is currently the basic requirement in a CPU, as games are becoming more and more CPU dependent. This APU is clocked to 3.6 GHz with a boost clock of 4.0 GHz and is overclockable. It features eight GPU cores, but that's out of the question right now, because you are going to use it with the GTX 1650 Super, and you will get an ideal performance for 1080p. Although I don't recommend it as the first CPU to be used with this GPU, only if you have a limited budget for your CPU, if you have bought the GPU. It's around 5% faster than the 2200G, and in most of the games you will easily reach 60 plus FPS, and in very graphically intensive games, you will get around 50 to 60 FPS for sure. Here is the gamma play of 2200G with the GTX 1650 Super, through which you can conclude that you will get even more with the combination of 3200G and GTX 1650 Super. It enhances the potential of the system's other components at low service or power consumption. It does get heated after some time and does not include integrated graphics, which is acceptable as an AMD APU. At number 2 it is AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Another best supported CPU for GTX 1650 Super. The AMD Ryzen 5 2600 processors are designed with new technology that delivers outstanding performance. Ryzen 5 2600 is though a previous generation AMD processor, the specs it boasts are nowhere to be found on any processor for just $120. With 6 cores and 12 threads, not only it can support the GTX 1650 Super easily, but can become a good match for higher-end graphics cards, such as RTX 2060 Super and RX 5700 XT. Due to the release of third-generation Ryzen CPUs, the cost of the second-generation CPUs has gone down up to a point that they are even cheaper than the cheaper Intel counterparts that have far lower specs, although the gaming performance isn't affected that much. Ryzen 2600 features a core clock of 3.4 GHz and a boost clock of 3.9 GHz. It has a 16 MB 3 liters cache and only 65 watts of TDP. If you want something that should last for a couple of years, then this one is the cheapest option, but if you are only considering gaming, then check out the next processors which will cost you more. The unlocked multiplier can be overclocked extremely easily, making it better for those who are just starting out and don't want to take too many risks. You may have to personalize for some smaller optimizations, particularly if you want to go into turbo mode. It is a bit more expensive than some other models, but excellent graphics if you play by the rules, has a power consumption of 100 watts. This will give you a boost when you are playing with dual graphics on most titles. However, you may have to slow everything down over time to really get the performance that you want. At number 3 it is Intel Core i5-9400F. The Intel Core i5-9400F is the best budget processor with excellent overclocking capabilities, with such a fair price comes a remarkable core processor. Intel CPUs have really gotten beaten up by AMD's latest generation processors in every tier but the i5-9400F is the only CPU that beats every AMD processor when it comes to purely gaming. This is because of the fast single-core performance and the 6 cores 6 threads which are enough for modern gaming. For less than $150, i5-9400F is not only powerful but also power efficient. The processor features a TDP of only 65 watts which is comparable to the third generation Ryzen processors in the mid and high end category, but the new thing in this one is that, although it is a locked processor, it features turbo boost technology that takes its core clock from 2.9 GHz up to 4.1 GHz. Though the base clock looks very low, during gaming and other CPU intensive tasks the processor will adjust its core clock automatically based on the requirements. 
With this CPU you can expect more FPS than with the Ryzen 32G and 2600. The price point makes it easier to choose since it offers too many high-end features for cheap. Together, they play an important role in creating a lifelike experience for the users. The system also comes with a cooling system that helps to extend the usage time and helps the processor carry larger loads. At number 4 it is AMD Ryzen 5 3600. The AMD Ryzen 5 3600 is a potent and compatible processor with 6 cores. AMD Ryzen 5 3600 has been the best processor in 2021 and is still going great. It is the best seller on Amazon and deserves it to be. The processor provides the best value for under $200 and competes directly head-to-head -head with the Intel Core i5-9600K. In most of the games, it comes very close to the 9600K in performance, and with some additional improvements like using a higher clocked RAM kit and overclocking, it can even beat it with a small margin. It features 6 cores and 12 threads and is around 10% faster than the 2600X. It has a core clock of 3.6 GHz with a boost clock of 4.2 GHz. The CPU is overclockable and should be used with a good CPU cooler to maintain consistency and performance. For GTX 1650 Super, this is the best match you can get and deserves to be used in your PC build. AMD Gamma Cake is designed to reduce memory latency for higher frame rates and top titles. AMD Risen processors monitor energy consumption and temperature. When the processor knows it's running cool and quiet, it can raise clock speeds in precise 25 MHz steps for any application without pausing work. Precision Boost Overdrive works with your motherboard to boost clock speeds and lets you overclock with a single click. AMD Store MI technology can combine SSD and HDD storage into a single hybrid drive, which stores frequently used files and programs on the SSD and other data on the larger HDD. And the last one is AMD Ryzen 7 2700. The AMD Ryzen 7 2700 8 core is indeed the best CPU for AMD Ryzen 7 2700 as it efficiently delivers superb cooling performance while ensuring long term reliability. This processor, belonging to the Ryzen series CPUs, offers you a fantastic computer experience, making it an excellent choice for gaming PCs. Pair it with a good graphics card, and you will experience smooth running games and get the most out of your GPU. Great price for a budget rig. Its super fast performance and reliability enhance your PC experience. Ryzen 7 2700 is not really something that one should go for the GTX 1650 in the first place, but this thing is really really cheap these days with a price less than $170. This is even less than the price of Ryzen 5 3600 which has some lower specs than 2700. Ryzen 2700 features 8 cores and 16 threads and a better multitasking operation. Though the gaming performance of the Ryzen 5 3600 will be better, Ryzen 2700 will be a better choice with regards to future proofing. It comes with a Wraith Spire LED cooler, and it should be enough for cooling it down. It features a core clock of 3.2 GHz with a boost clock of up to 4.1 GHz. It has a TDP of 65 watts and an 3 lira cache of 16 MB. If the cost of this CPU goes above $200, then do not consider it and buy any one of the above listed ones. But in my opinion, Ryzen 2700 comes in the second position for the recommendation for the GTX 1650 Super after Ryzen 5 3600. But this fifth AMD Ryzen 7 2700, I have come to the end of my review. These all five are the best CPU for AMD Ryzen 7 2700 for better performance. Now it's up to you which will meet your budget and requirements. In my opinion, AMD Ryzen 3 3200G is the overall best CPU in terms of better performance. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.